What I heard was that is, this is what I heard. I heard that you will not be able to stop this negative karma that you're experiencing until you apologize to that person that you did wrong. You know who this person is. You've been trying to make amends for what you did against this person by trying to treat other people right, trying to do right by other people, but you've never made amends with this person from your past that you did very wrong. And you've had plenty of opportunities to do so is also what I'm hearing. And one thing I know is that God does allow us to neutralize our karma, but if he sees that we're doing right, moving forward and trying to not repeat our past negative behavior, but this particular person, this is some kind of divine feminine star seed, and you can't just discard her and not make things right with her. You have to fix this. You have to apologize. This is why lately you can't get a leg up. This is why you feel like you're almost at the top of the wheel and you get drugged right back down to the bottom because you have not done what you know in your heart you should do. And that is apologize to this feminine. So Holy Spirit, what is the message here? What would you like for us to know, whoever this message is for? What is the further cl clarification and insight that you have for them, Holy Spirit? What is the message here? Final shuffle, we're going to get into it. I hope everybody's doing okay at this time. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's go. What is the message here, Holy Spirit? We have strength. You have consistently remained firm in your position not to apologize to this person. Okay? That's what this strength you you continue to take risk, positive positive risk with other people, but you remain on the fence, unable to decide about communicating with this star seed, just like I said, okay? You, you, you're you unable to make a decision about communicating with this energy and clearing up your karma, okay? You want to go and invest energy in other people, okay? You want to rush off towards other energies and try to have victories with them, Okay? But you're forced to move on to calmer waters every time. Every time you try to invest in another energy and have success elsewhere, you're forced to move on to calmer waters. You are left in regret. Okay? It's this King of Pentacles here. Because it's something about abundance. It's something about money. It's something about him, him getting on the top of the wheel are being almost at the top of the wheel and then he falls right back down and he's not understanding why he keeps having, why he keeps getting balanced out like that. Look, I'm trying to tell you now. He can't understand why he can't balance his finances, his 10 of pentacles, because is it? I'm not getting that he is like destitute or down and out, broke or anything. Not yet, okay? I ain't getting that yet, but I am getting that it's like it's starting to be a struggle. Like he'll get something. As soon as he gets something, he loses it. And it's because of how he treated this empress. It's because he possibly, probably is looking like to me that he was supposed to have a 10 of pentacles with this empress. So now he's off, like I said in the beginning, that was the download. Now he's off trying to build partnerships with other people and he's under judgment for that. Because how you acting like you didn't mistreat this Ace of Pentacles Empress energy, the person you were supposed to be with, the person you were supposed to have a partnership with, and then gonna go off and try to do what you were supposed to do with her with other people and thank God gonna bless that. You up under judgment. And the Holy Spirit says, that's the damn truth, okay? This why this man cannot seem to balance his life. 444 four, four on the phone. Ain't no way you think it's giving. He he had he had the divine feminine and he threw the divine feminine away to try to make somebody else into a divine feminine. And he's still out here trying to do that. 
and he can't figure out why he keep getting shut down, why he's down almost to this King of Swords energy, very bitter, has, has taken losses. This ain't no King of Swords at a high vibration. This is a man who's been cut down, who feels like he got to have his guard up to things in the world because he keeps he, he keeps taking losses. God, God keep balancing his ass out. It's out here twice. He think he about to have a victory somewhere else with somebody else. And then he's forced to move on to common waters and he's left in regret. He may still have some abundance. <clears throat> and he'll try to go balance the situation in his favor again. Try to do a ten of pentacles with somebody else. And his ass is back in the nine of swords. And that's because he's being judged for how he treated this empress, this ace of pentacles energy. He owes her a, an apology. And what's happening, I'm telling you, is what's, what's being seen, a light is being shined down on the fact that this man wants to collaborate with other people, be in relationships with other people, take swift actions towards other people, but there's evidence that he has not cleared up what he needs to clear up with this Queen of Wands, Empress Energy. This is her. This is because this is how he treats her. Now, she she coming out as the Empress next to this Ten of Pentacles, but he, he treats her like he can never give her what she deserved. That she would remain in this single, unmarried energy, unclaimed energy, despite her independence, despite her beauty, despite her intellect and her intuition. It's like the evidence is there that this Queen of Wands is his ideal choice, okay? But he doesn't want to, he don't want to take action towards her. And I'm not even saying that he got to take action towards her to be with her, but he does owe her an apology because she's been very resilient. To she's She has really withstood a lot off of this King of Pentacles here. This is how he generally comes at her, and there's evidence of that, but he want to go and act like a goddamn Prince Charming to other people. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm picking up. And this is what the universe has observed with this Knight of Pentacles. He wanted to come at her with this destructive energy. He's had opportunities to make different choices and make amends with this Empress, communicate with this Ace of Pentacles energy better. But he continues to do this type of shit. Use his words to gaslight her, make her feel trapped in prison mentally somehow. Okay, so 808 on the phone, it's time for justice. It's time for the will of fortune to go in her favor. It's tired of all it's time for all of these illusions that he's created. Instead of just apologizing, this man has continued to be and have this type of energy towards this empress. That's what I'm getting. So in addition to what he already may have done to her in the past, instead of apologizing and making things right with her so he can move forward with his life in a positive way, he's continued to still, oops, spiritual confirmation, just got a notification. He's continued to be nasty and negative to her, to have her in some form of spiritual prison behind his gaslighting, manipulative energy. That's what I'm getting out here. Clarify that, Holy Spirit. This man still, we have the 10, look, 10 of cups and a devil on the bottom with the three of cups right behind that. And then we have the king of swords. So this is what he does. This is what he does. He, this is why they're coming out. He, he don't deserve this empress. Okay. He do not. He treat her like a king, queen of swords after he celebrates with her. He's very karmic. I feel like he has promised or insinuated even with this devil to this Ten of Cups that he was going to have a future with her. He creates illusions every time he is like he he presents his himself to her like everything is all good just to be able to celebrate with her. So it's it's like. 
Hmm. And I think that's why she's coming out as a queen of wands because I think he just be wanting to have sex with her. Whenever he has had these different opportunities to make amends with her and clear things up, he comes at her in a way that's very karmic and is just based off of having a good time in the moment. And then he's back in this energy towards her. She becomes a queen of swords to him again. So this is why he is now starting to experience some setbacks in his life. And I'm telling y'all, this man, he goes off and he acts like a king of pentacles to other women, but he is this woman's, he was, him and this woman was supposed to have a 10 of pentacles. They had some type of divine connection they may have, they, I'm, I'm getting, definitely getting now past life, past life soulmates because they done both came out here as each other's match tw three times now, okay? Queen and King of Swords, Queen and King of Wands, and this Emperor and this Empress. But I feel like this is why he hasn't fully evolved into this Emperor because he's not owning up to what he's done to this woman, what he continues to do to this woman, and the fact that she is his divine counterpart. He want to go and invest and sow seeds and be this King of Cups energy to other people. But I'm telling y'all, that shit be drying up quick with whoever the Queen of Cups is for the moment, okay? And it's, it's giving... It's really giving that this Empress energy, this Queen of Wands, when he was treating her like a Queen of Wands, she's evolved, y'all. She's evolved throughout these different interactions that she's had with this man over time where he's had an opportunity to apologize to her and make things right. So she evolved into this Empress energy, okay? She went from a Queen of Wands to an, to an Empress. She... she Yes, she went from Queen of Wands to an Empress. That's what I'm getting here, okay? And this happened while he was off investing and sowing seeds with other energies, trying to do right by them, trying to have a connection with them, care for them, treat them in the way that he should have treated her, okay? That's what I'm getting here. And those connections always seem to dry up. They never seem to pan out. And it's because when he was off doing whatever with whoever after he had mistreated her for the umpteenth time, she finally started healing from that shit. She realized that he wasn't giving her nothing but a penny with a hole in it with this Page of Pentacles energy here. That her future with him was not ever going to be what she hoped it would be. She had Ace of Pentacles looking at a penny with a fucking hole in it hoping that it will be something abundant and vibrant in her life. And it, and it wasn't coming to pass. She realized that their connection was a penny. It was worth a penny with a hole in it, literally. Okay. And so she started elevating herself, raising her standards, doing better because she realized she was playing herself. She was setting her own self up for failure by continuing to give this man an opportunity to come in and make it right only to use her and do her wrong instead of apologizing you know they don't even have to have had have to have had sex i'm even picking up just him coming in like everything is going to be better or, or i'm going to act right now and it's like immediately he he shows her that he hasn't changed and he puts dis distance between the two of them, 14, 14 on the phone, and an ending occurs. Okay, but he didn't did that too many times. God didn't gave him too many times to apologize to this star seed, divine feminine here, and make things right. Like I said, you know, ain't nobody breaking his arm and forcing him to be with her, even though it seems like they were supposed to have a divine partnership here, back up here. But... He can at least make amends. He can at least apologize because I'm telling you what's starting to happen is these endings are, are starting to occur, to occur in his own life. He is starting to be the one 
being left in the three of swords the same way that he has left her time and time again okay and she's still remaining in this nine of pentacles energy even if he has not made things right with her she's still holding on to who she is and who god has shown her she is since she's went through all of that negative negative energy with him so when she's discovered who she was and she started standing in her power and healing from everything that happened between the two of them, it's causing his wayward acts to be exposed to the universe. Something like that. Here, child, walk with me. This is what I'm hearing. Okay? So now it's like, okay, we see that you had opportunity after opportunity after opportunity to get things right with this Nine of Pentacles Empress energy here, but you continue to create endings between the two of y'all, okay, which in turn keeps this karmic loop going. So karma has to start being served here. What is some of this King of Pentacles karma? Because he he been going through some endings. He's been having to restart. We have the Six of Cups here. Clarify the Six of Cups, Holy Spirit. We have the Tower. Ooh. So, something from this man's childhood, he's had to revisit it. Something about his childhood here is what I'm hearing. Something has come up from his past that has caused a Tower in his life. This is, this is something that he's currently experiencing. But this karma is residual from his actions and unwillingness to apologize to this divine feminine. That's what I'm getting this even as saying. His tower moments that he's going through right now is because he refuses to reconnect and make amends with this energy from his past. Mm. Well, that's what I heard from the beginning. That until this man apologizes to this woman, it's literally like, it's literally him saying a text, call, phone call, email, some form of communication, a fucking letter. He can write her a letter and say, I apologize for how I have continued to treat you in our past. Please forgive me. Sign your name. Move on. Ask God to forgive you in the process of you asking her for forgiveness and it'll be okay. That's what I'm hearing. It's literally that simple. God ain't saying you got to go over there and be with this woman. You got to go marry her and that's how the only way you can make things right. No, that's not what the Holy Spirit is saying. The Holy Spirit is saying though, you do need to apologize to this woman. You do owe her an apology. And until you apologize to her, you're going to continue to experience tower moments. These tower moments ain't necessarily going to leave you penniless, leave you homeless, leave you broke, but it's going to make your ass have to constantly keep starting over and over again. And it's something about this masculine acquiring money, but not being able to hold on to it. Like this motherfucker could get a million dollars, but that shit going to be gone in a month. It's something like that here now. Okay. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know about this energy here? Anything else? We have the Five of Swords. I'm telling you, he need to get up out his ego. He refusing to make things right with this woman. He's refusing to make amends for all the opportunities that he had after he did the fuck shit he did. This man had opportunities still, y'all, to make amends he it's like he would trick her he would come in and pretend like he was going to do better or he was sorry or you know he understood where he he was wrong at and then he would flip and be in this five of swords energy again to her but the holy spirit is like you keep it up now as long as you continue to be nasty to her and refuse to apologize to her, your ass gonna be in the tower, and that's just period, okay? So I'm gonna end the message here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it provides you, excuse me, <laughs> with the insight and verification that you need. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, 
let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.